You're being Sir, sued. Is your name, yeah, is your name Iroquois Pliskin? No. What's your name? It's classified. That's classified. Okay. Well, I'm a judge, so would you like to talk about it in private? No. I'd rather not talk to you at all. Okay. Well, you're being uh, sued at the moment. Right. Your Honor, Iroquois Pliskin is the name on his ID. He claims that it's okay. a uh, alias or something. Okay. Thank you for that. What's the problem here? Well, it sounds like you stole somebody's car and you wrecked it, and they're wanting to sue you for the money to pay for it. Prove it. That's what they're about to do. Would you like right. to defend yourself? I believe in the process of innocence until proven guilty. I'll yep. hear what the other party so, has oh. to say. Yep. Okay. <laughs> wow. Well, Dude, be... silence. Snake voice is. What the fuck? <laughs> okay. So. This court's now in order for a small claims court. Mr. Chavez is wanting to sue Mr. Pliskin here for the amount of $7,740 for damages done to his... There he goes. I, uh, um... Hey. There he goes. Oh, he's, he's gone. Okay, literally Bye. no one really cares. I mean, he's not All right, being cool. kept here, so... Yeah. All right, uh... Well... I'm gonna be Judge honest. I'm actually very no confused. Left, so. Fantastic. I think he got the full, scared by uh, the full judgment, right? Fantastic. Great. All right. Let me he hear y'all's side. Let me hear your side. Y'all's. Are you judging me for uh, my mannerisms? May I uh, do an opening oh. statement, sir? Yeah. Go ahead and give your statement. Thank you for hearing this uh, quick case, Your Honor, ladies and gentlemen of the gallery, uh, everyone here. My name is uh, Nora Dupre of DPG Law Group, and today I'm set to uh, prove to you that uh, a crime was committed, uh, something that should not be happening in our, in our safe streets of Los Santos. Mr. Iroquois Pliskin, who has decided to flee, flee from taking responsibility of his actions, has decided, uh, who decided to come here, not come here, he uh, decided to steal Mr. Chavez's car, joyride with it, and crash it, doing a lot of damage to property he does not own. We seek to prove that here today, Your Honor. Thank you. Okay. Mr. Pliskin, would you like to give your statement? Okay. Uh, Ms. Dupre, would you like to go ahead and start off? I would like to call, um, I would like to call, uh, Senior Officer Angel to the stand, please. Okay, Ms. Angel, you want to go ahead and step on up? Yes, Your Honor. Would you please raise your hand? Oh, you can just stand at this one right in front of me with the microphone. Yep. Okay, cool. Awesome. Could you please raise your hand? Do you swear to speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? So help you, uh, Mitch. Yes, Your Honor, I do. Okay. Uh, Mr. Dupre, go ahead and ask her your questions. Uh, please be reminded you are under oath. Yes, Your Honor. All right, go ahead, Mr. Dupre. Senior Officer Angel. Uh, how long have you been an officer of the force? Approximately uh, six months as of now. Excellent. Thank you very much. Oh, how are you doing today, by the way? Oh, wait, back. I'm doing on. pretty good. Oh, okay. Mr. Pliskin, are you done running out of those courts? I needed a quick intermission. <laughs> Sorry about that. Mm. I'd like to plead <clears throat> my case now. Well, we've already started. Right. Okay. I'd like to do this woman here. You see, the problem is, I had to commandeer that vehicle in order to stop a nuclear warhead from going off in the middle of Los Santos, saving everybody in this room and everybody you care about. I was on my way swimmingly to return the vehicle when this woman decided to sabotage and ram the vehicle off the road. The vehicle was in perfect working condition before the police intervened. It's them that you need to sue, not me. <laughs> okay, well, uh -huh. in, this, in this case, you stole Mr. Chavez's car, or in quotes, commandeered. And he's wanting to sue you for the damages that was caused to his vehicle. I'll give you five hundred dollars. <laughs> don't I don't think that's what he's asking for. <laughs> we are asking for uh, seven thousand seven hundred forty dollars, Mr. Pliskin. That is what we are asking for in this case. Not a penny Not less. Happen. We'll see about that, sir. You won't see a dime from me. Uh, the police okay. need to sue. Okay, okay, that's enough. That's enough. 
anyway, uh, should I continue um, questioning uh, Officer Angel or no, Your Honor? Uh, yeah, go ahead and finish questioning. Thank you. Officer Angel, Senior Officer Angel, can you tell us uh, what happened to lead us here into court today, in your words? Uh, I was on patrol. Uh, I was in westbound on Vespucci Boulevard when I received a call on an injured person down at the Little Soul District. I responded on scene, and Yo, Nino Chavez and a few other people with the are seven. What on up? scene, and they will be given medical attention by Lieutenant Ripley as well as a few medics. One of them being um, Heidi. Uh, they, while they were receiving medical attention, I did take note that like Mr. Chavez's crop. vehicle was parked in a parking lot with no one inside it, and there's also a few other vehicles around it as well. Approximately two minutes later, I was about to leave the scene when I noticed the vehicle pulling out of the parking lot, and there was something laying on the ground next to the vehicle, which I did not ever get to chance to investigate as to what it was. I pulled in behind the vehicle, as I knew that was not Mr. Chavez driving it, and I asked uh, Lieutenant Ripley to uh, ask Mr. Chavez if he had permission to be driving the vehicle. Uh, Lieutenant Ripley confirmed over the radio to me that indeed the only person who should be operating the vehicle was Mr. Chavez and no one else had permission to pull it over. I had run the plates, so I did confirm that it did come back to a Nino Chavez and not just anyone else, so I pulled the vehicle over. I called for backup, and as I ro uh, approached the driver's side door, uh, the, the driver, in this case um, Mr. Pliskin, took off and led us on a short but dangerous pursuit before he crashed into another vehicle and fled on foot, at which point he was tackled and taken into custody. Your Honor, I counter that argument. I was allowing them to take me to custody. Mr. Pliskin, you'll have a chance to ask for questions. Mr. Dupre, go ahead. Thank you very much. Now, oh, sorry, just a little bit of a headache. Can you tell me the, um, can you tell for the court the, the operations of uh, the SOP or uh, how do you determine how uh, a car has been stolen, Officer Angel? Well, we determine a car has been stolen when we can uh, clearly say that the oh, excuse me that the the owner of the vehicle did not give consent for the person operating the vehicle to be driving it. So, given that we did not have Mr. Chavez's uh, consent for Mr. Pliskin to be driving the vehicle, we can determine that it was stolen. Thank you very much. Now, uh, may I ask what charges were Ms. Mr. Uh, uh, sorry, was Mr. Pliskin arrested? Uh, yes, he was arrested. Did he serve time for the charges? Yes, he did. What were the charges? He went to jail for reckless evading, resisting arrest, and joyriding. Okay. Uh, no further questions. All right, Mr. Pliskin, would you like to ask the witness some questions? The witness being the officer in front of me, right? Yes. You approached the uh, scene of the crime, supposedly, allegedly. You're heading southbound, correct? Objection, speculation. Uh, I have... <laughs> the hell's your problem? <laughs> I'm a lawyer, sir. <laughs> that doesn't mean anything to me. Your Honor, I'll wait for your ruling. Uh, ex excuse me. Um. <laughs> overruled. He's just asking for directions, but she was traveling. Uh, go ahead and answer. All right. Uh, when, I first, when, I uh, when I first noticed you, I was traveling westbound on Vespucci Boulevard. Right. Regardless, you approached the vehicle from the front side. You pulled a U-turn. You ended up behind it. My question to you is how, at that time, did you determine that the vehicle was stolen? Well, at that point, I had what is called reasonable suspicion, as I knew that Mr. Chavez was not operating the vehicle. So How did you know I knew it was Mr. So Chavez's car. Because I ran the plates about five minutes earlier as I made my initial statement. Right. And you were able to run the plates again on the front side of the car because there's no license plate. By simply well, seeing a car in... pulled out of a parking lot, I determined it was stolen beside a pursuit. Uh, correct? Objection, badgering the witness. Sustained, Mr. Pliskin, please. Just asking for clarification. You approach from the front of the vehicle. You somehow determine that it's Mr. Chavez's car. At that point, you decide you have reasonable suspicion to start following running the plates. My question to you is, what was your motive pulling the U-turn from the front direction of the car in the first place, officer? 
because it was Mrs. Chavez's vehicle, as I stated earlier, and I knew How that Mrs. You know Chavez that? was unable to drive it. I had reasonable suspicion to believe that it was. Right. Because he's got the only pee fister in the entire world. No. Uh, actually, I, I do have the only one in the on city. Scene. Objection. That's a statement, not a question. And I'm very proud of it. Hmm. <laughs> <Christine>. <laughs> All right. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any more questions for this witness? Why are we all wasting our time here? There's a ticking time bomb in the city that's going to go off at any moment. And we're all wasting time playing days of our lives. Real lives are in danger, which is the original reason I had to commandeer the vehicle in the first place. Keep in mind, it wasn't more than 25 meters away from the scene the car was allegedly taken from before the police decided to batter and ram it off the road multiple times. Escalating to a point of force that was unnecessary, which resulted in their initial damages in the first place. I'd argue that I Objection, have Objection, Your to do Honor. With is, this a, is this a question, sir? This is this a question? Yeah, Mr. Pliskin, do you have any questions for this? I'm witness? very excited to see where things go no, after this. I'm done here. Okay. Would you like to read a deck to Mr. Dupre? No further questions at this time. Okay. You're free to go back. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you. The prosecution would like to call its next witness, Jordan Walker. Okay, Mr. Walker, you please step forth. Swear to speak the truth, the whole truth, nothing but the truth. Oh, uh, raise your hand. Swear to speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, Mitch. I sure do. Go ahead. Oh, sorry. Um, Mr. Walker, um, have uh, how long have you been a mechanic, sir? Uh, approximately three months. Okay. Now, uh, did Mr. Did Mr. Chavez bring a pee fister to your shop today? He sure did. Thank you. In what condition was the pee fister on arrival? Uh, it was in terrible condition. We had a lot of work to get it back to uh, being in a roadworthy state. Can you elaborate on uh, the work that you had to do to uh, get to this P Fister, to get it to working condition, great condition, sir? Perjury for $200. I did. Uh, the engine was completely shot. Um, transmission was uh, was pretty much non-existent. It had been blown to smithereens. Uh, electronics were damaged. Uh, the radiator was leaking quite severely. Actually, we had to replace it. Uh, the brakes were shot. Uh, pretty much everything in the car needed uh, needed attention. So. Okay. Wow. Thank you very much. And uh, was there uh, there was physical damage to the car? Did you see any physical damage to the car? Visible damage. True. I did. Yes. yes that is true. Wonder. The body itself was in a in a fairly bad state. So. And uh, for the record, uh, I believe you have. Uh, do you have the receipt in front of you? Mr. Mr. Walker. I do, yes. Can you tell us, for the record, uh, what the total bill was to fix Mr. Chavez's car? Uh, yeah, it was uh, five thousand seven hundred and forty dollars. Thank you very much. No further questions, Your Honor. I have a question. Okay. Several. Uh, go ahead. What was your name? Uh... Didn't catch that. My name? My name's Jordan Walker. I own Jordan Walker. Walker. Yes. How long have you been a car mechanic? As I Objection, earlier, asked an answer. Three months. Are you going to object to everything I say? It was a, a valid objection in my view. This was asked and answered, Mr. Pliskin. Hmm. So we're going to play it that way. Sustained. Go ahead, Mr. Pliskin. So you've been a mechanic for three months. Now I have a question for you regarding that. Based on your experience in three months, the entire three months of your career of being an auto mechanic, the damages you claim were sustained to the P-Fister, how long would it take to sustain damages that you described, totaling up to $7,000? Objection speculation. I hate you. <laughs> That's fine, sir. Sustained. <laughs> Go on with the question then. Uh, it's it's your time to question, sir. Not mine. I ask a question, I didn't get an answer. 
Your Honor, uh, you I answer? believe you sustained it. Yes, I sustained it. You need to move on to the next question. Uh, All right. The majority of the bulk damages. You said there was a lot of body damage. Would you be able to identify what kind of accident a car would have to be in to sustain said damages? Objection, speculation. Uh, he was not there. Sustained. Judge is dying laughing. You can so am I not allowed to ask any questions here then? You can ask questions, but you need to ask questions that they can answer in a factual manner. Factually, were the damages applied to the vehicle that you serviced the result of the vehicle crashing independently or possibly, provably, the result of several police cars having rammed the vehicle from Objection, speculation, Your Honor. I want a lawyer. Your Honor. <laughs> I demand counsel. <laughs> okay. We're going to go on a small recess. Mr. Pliska, try to get yourself a lawyer if you can. Right. How long is the recess? Ten minutes. Hmm. Ten minutes, huh? Yes. I'll be back. Well, what's illegal? I think he's out here. <clears throat> That's... Sal, you're ah. not an attorney. That's against the law, and I'll take you to jail if you try to represent yourself as one. All right. I'm ready. I found my Yay. counsel, Your Honor. He's not an attorney. That's a crime. It's actually a crime to do that, ironically. Sal, get over Let's here, talk Sal. about that case. Let's finish the first case at hand. Then we'll talk about whatever it is your quarrel I'm is. here to represent my client, please. He's not Sal, an attorney. Sal, are you a bar certified attorney? Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Just, fine, you're fine. Just, we'll produce the paperwork later. Sal, please answer the question. Can I produce the paperwork later, your wine? No, you need to be a bar certified attorney right now. It's my first day on the job, and I had all the paperwork at the house, but I left Are you a home. bar certified attorney? No. Okay, I need you to go back <laughs> in the gallery, Mr. S uh, Pliskin. Do you have any lawyers in the city that can cover you? No, apparently Miss Dupre over here is the only Shit. lawyer in the entire goddamn city. Can I stand okay. over here, your wine? She's unfit to serve, your honor. She's clearly intoxicated. Hey. She also Excuse threatened me, me outside the courtroom just now. That is not true. She I was witnessed it. Witness. That's okay. right. She's not right. fit to serve. That's my argument. That's not a valid argument. I'm not intoxicated. Right. Are you willing to take a urinary <laughs> test? I smell vodka. Hmm. Her eyes Actually, are I over. am. If the, if the court so order, because I know I'm not intoxicated, Mr. Pliskin. If you are bitter about your performance in court, that is not my issue. She can hardly stand on those heels, Your Honor. She can't even hold her composure. Her being injured has nothing to do with her ability to perform as an attorney. Right. Don't you find it odd that if she were in fact injured, she wouldn't wear to consider wearing six-inch heels as a result? She smells Whatever like kind vodka. of torture Miss Dupre wants to put herself through is on her, Mr. Pliskin. It's an act. Wow. It's all set up. She can smells like Grey Goose Couture. Case. Straight vodka. Wow. Okay. All right. Order. We're done. Uh, right. Recess is over. Miss Dupre, would you like to call your next witness? I... I will rest, Your Honor. The prosecution rests. Okay. Mr. Pliskin, would you like to call a witness? I would. Okay. Who would you like There's to call? There's a gentleman in the back here. Uh -huh. That's my witness. Hey, where do I go here? Stand. Oh, okay. Uh, do, do I go behind the glass thing, or do, where do I go here? Mister? Yeah, no, right there. Right there is good at that podium. Right, right uh, uh, okay. All right, Sir, would you, you please raise your hand, hand for me? Wait, hang on, oh. hang on. <clears throat> will you please raise your hand for me? Raise it. Yeah. Uh, wait, wait, like that? Uh, uh, no, uh, like this. Yeah, that's fine. <laughs> like this? All right, that'll work. Do you swear to speak the truth, okay. the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, Mitch? Uh, yes, sure, I do. Yep, yes, okay. I do. Oh, Frizzy. All right, go ahead, Mr. Thank Pliskin. you for the seven months. Appreciate that. All right, dude. sir, could you state your name one it's more not time? not like Minecraft. Uh, no. My name is Gordon S. Parks. Uh, uh, Gordon. Gordon. Yep. I'm going to ask you some simple yes or no questions. You yeah. don't need to go into any detail. Were you, in fact, in the Little Seoul area approximately four hours ago? Uh, four hours ago. Yes, I was, actually. Yes, I was. That's convenient. And in that time, the, the little area, you happened to witness an altercation with the police and myself. 
Uh, yes, I did. I definitely was there. I was going to leave, and I decided not to. I wanted to see what's going on. And during the investigation of the police, Hi. did you happen to witness them ramming the vehicle I was in multiple times over? Uh, I wouldn't say multiple. I'd say several. Uh, multiple kind of sounds like two, but it looked like more five or six to me. Great, great. A follow-up question. Would you say that the amount of force that the police used during this detainment would be considered excessive? Objection, speculation. Oh, God. Oh, yeah, yeah okay. Objection, uh, speculation. Answer. Let me rephrase. Would a reasonable okay, person feel unsafe in exiting their vehicle on account of the fact that the vehicle is being rammed from all sides by multiple police cruisers at the same time? Objection, you, speculation. You better believe it. Uh -huh. Objection, speculation. Oh, uh, well, I'm you. not going to say nothing. You said it now. Ah. I'll move on. Ah, uh, that I sounds scary. Uh, Miss, Mr. Pliskin, please let me roll on uh, objections before you go forward, okay? Right. Um, at this point, that is going to be called sustained. Um, let's do your best to ask questions that they can answer for a fact and not based on what would you think or what would you feel. Factually. Yes, yes. or no. Where's my car, Vinny? Exactly. You witnessed several police cruisers ramming yes. into a vehicle in the Little Seal area. Yes or no? Yeah. The individual in the vehicle, it was myself. Yes or no? Yes, it was. Are the police officers that you saw ramming that vehicle over and over again present in this courtroom? Oh, God, yes, yes, yes. I'll rest my case for now. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, Ms. Dupre, would you like to uh, question the witness? Would you like to cross-examine? Yes, I would, Your Honor. Hello, okay. Mr. Parks. How are you today? Uh, how are you doing there, Toots? <clears throat> Mr. Prey, sir. But, um, yes, uh, I'm well, thank you. Now, how far are you, how far were you from this, um, incident, sir? Oh, uh, I'm not really a map maker or a cartographer. I'm, I, 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 I'm, I'm having a hard time answering that one. So you're unsure of how far you were, Mr. Objection. Parks? No, I, I, I didn't say I was uh, unsure. On, I said Parks, I'm not on, a cartographer. Hang on, hang on. Hang on okay, okay. Uh, go ahead. What's your objection? Non-factual information. Speculation. Your Honor, I'm yes. simply asking if if Mr. Parks was sure or not. I want to be a lawyer. Was. I don't see how that's speculation. Either you're sure or you're not. Simply yes or no. I think simply asking um, the so much witness fun. if he was in the area would be enough. You're pressing the issue. Objection. Uh, Mr. Pliskin does have a point sustained. Uh, please rephrase. Mr. Parks, don't. would you say probably that you moment. were a block away? Objection. I, um, no, I would Repeating not. the same no. question. This is irrelevant. I'm sorry, say I that again? I rephrased it. I rephrased it, actually. True. But okay. Objection. I don't see how this is leading to anything. <laughs> your Honor, I'm simply trying no, to establish the distance. Oh, go ahead, sorry, go ahead. <laughs> are you are you objecting to relevance? I'm Mr. objecting Postkin? to the same thing I just object to. She's asking the same question. She's barely rephrasing it. I'm rephrasing it. it. I did rephrase it, actually. Yes, she, she is allowed to rephrase a question if you call an objection on it and I sustain it. She's allowed to rephrase it to uh, so it's not an objected question. I object to rephrasing. On what objection? She's badgering my witness. She's trying to get information she... that's irrelevant. We've already confirmed that he was in the location. Okay, so... Your Honor... Go ahead, sir. My bad apologies. Okay. She I'm is allowed to rephrase. So, hang on. She overruled on the, uh, on the objection of her rephrasing. She's allowed to rephrase a question. Overruled on your badgering. She's not badgering. She's simply rephrasing a question that you called her an objection on earlier, okay? I'm fine with that. Okay, thank uh. you. Uh, sorry, I'll repeat the question for you. Were you a block away from the incident, Mr. Parks? Uh, no. Uh, no. no. Mr. Parks, were you two blocks away from the incident? Uh, uh no. I'm, I'm a little Box. lost. I'm, uh, are you asking me a question? Like, uh, I'm trying no. to. Uh, I'm trying to ascertain the distance that you had from the, 
from the incident, Hey, watch your mouth, lady. <laughs> Call me an asshole. Uh, your, your Honor. Objection. You just called me an asshole. Did you hear that? Your, your, your Honor. Actually, I didn't hear that. Huh? Objection. Conflict he, of interest. I did not say that. Your Honor, I have reason to believe that Nora Dupre has been seeing this man in an intimate relationship. She's unable to cross really the witness without about a bias. Excuse me. We're not supposed to talk about that. Um, Conflict of interest. No, actually, I did try to uh, have intercourse with her in the restroom, but she denied me. Your Honor. Wow. Let it be known to the court that a defense is approved. I know she smelled like vodka. Wow. I'm sorry, did you say the defense is approved? That's what he said, Your Honor. You, you do realize you yes. are the defense, Mr. Pliskin. Objection. What the fuck? This is irrelevant. <laughs> okay. I was sterilized a long time ago. Wow. I don't have time for distractions. <laughs> All Honor. I'm saying uh... is that the opposition's defense is sleeping with half the courtroom. How could she not have a conflict of interest? Oh, it's God. <laughs> okay, order, 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 order. Uh, order in the court. Uh, order in the court. I gotta Mr. say, Nora is awesome. Is. If you don't have legitimate I, objections to make, please keep it to yourself, okay? <clears throat> fine. <laughs> Miss mm. Dupre, please ask your last question. Your last question. <laughs> My last question, sir. Well, one of my last questions, uh, Mr. Parks, do you have, I see you're wearing glasses, uh, do uh, you have vision problems, sir? Uh, no, these are transitions. Yeah. I uh, can ask one more question, Your Honor. One more. Mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. Parks, can you identify the, ma the make and model of the car that you saw Mr. Pliskin in? Objection. Uh, Not everyone's a car expert. I mean, they identify a car from a distance. That's not a valid objection. Uh, I'm not going to lie to you, Miss. Yeah. Uh, okay. Wait, would you be able wait, to wait, identify? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Mm. You, can't, you can't ask him more questions until she's done, Mr. Pluskin. Uh, Hi, Frank. Fine. It's fine. I have OBS. Frank. I have my own Hi, theater. Hi, Frank. Mode. All right. Um... Did you want to hold on to that objection, Mr. Pliskin, that you just made? No, I withdraw. Okay. Miss, uh, Miss Dupre, go ahead and finish your question. Mr. Parks, could you identify the brand uh -huh. of car? Could you, can you identify the car that Mr. Pliskin was in? Uh, no, I don't even know what my car is. No further I questions, think it's a Your Honor. Oh, well, I think it's a Hushla. It's a pretty nice car, actually. Is that it? Um, Mr. Pliskin, would you like to redirect? Yes. Okay, go ahead. <clears throat> Sir, if you could, uh, do you know the primary differences between a 1996 Ford Mustang and a 1997 Ford Mustang? Would you be able to tell the difference between the two? Uh, no. Not, not at all, no. Would you be able to tell the difference between a McLaren F1 and a Lotus Elise? Uh, no. How would you describe the vehicle you saw me in when I was being rammed over and over again by police? Objection, Your Honor. A vehicle? Uh, objection with a redirect. Would this uh, be relevant to the questions I just asked? You you asked him to identify the make and model of a vehicle from a distance away, so I would assume so, yes. Uh, All right, right withdrawn. Have to do with your... Withdrawn, sir. Right. Go ahead. <clears throat> Go ahead, Mr. Pliskin. If you could describe the vehicle at the scene, would you say it was... A nice car? A very nice car, perhaps. Oh, yeah, but well, yeah, well, it was definitely a nice car. I, I, yeah. I it was way, no, way nicer than mine. Right. Sir. That's uh, all for now. Hey, Nora. I got it. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, you're free to step down, Mr. Parks. Okay. Uh, can, I can I go to the bedroom? Uh, I got a diarrhea. Yes, sir. Straight through that door okay. until left on the other door. Nora. Hi, right, Mr. Pliskin. Would you like to call another uh, witness? Bye, friend. Please, please make sure Mr. Parks gets to the bathroom before he. Okay. okay. I'd like to call Lieutenant Ripley to the stand. Mm. Okay. Lieutenant Ripley, will you please step up? Uh, Your Honor, can I go outside for a second? 
Oh god! Is it important? Oh, um, uh, possibly. Jesus, Gordon. Oh. Mr. Chavez, this is your court case. Do you really need to leave right now? Is uh, this an emergency? I, I can stay. I can stay. I don't know how long the procedure is. Lieutenant Ripley, Absolutely. can you please raise your hand? What the you fuck is going truth, on the in here? Whole truth. Guys. <laughs> Do you swear to speak the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you, Mitch? I do. Okay, thank you. Uh, go ahead, Mr. Pluskin. Yeah, I'm going to take a look at this. I have the chicken Ripley. parmesan. We've Plus. met on several occasions. Would you say this is correct? Perfect. That is correct, sir. Um, uh, would you argue that specifically after I was in your Nearly custody, done. I've been compliant? My court case? Uh, no, Can't I wait. would not say that at all, uh, sir. Uh, date. Fair enough. A double date. Earlier today, you arrived on the scene of, believe, a uh, injured With person's call. Is that correct? Down in Little Seoul. That is uh, correct, sir. Yes. You were seen by several individuals dragging people out of a building, uh, I believe several of them in this courtroom currently. Would that be correct? Objection, Your Honor. Speculation. How would they know what, uh, well, how would Ripley know who saw him? Oh, she Yo, what rephrase. up, Hodge? Oh, God damn it, I didn't wash my hands. Okay, go ahead and rephrase. Could you describe the events... <clears throat> Could you describe the events, uh, to the court? When you arrived on the scene, the call, what happened? Uh, yes, sir. I arrived on the scene of the call. Um, there was some difficulty locating the injured persons. Uh, myself and some EMTs was looking around the area. Uh, I opened a door, a metal door next to an ATM machine, and I found three unconscious males. Uh... We escorted them out there onto the sidewalk to get their medical attention and uh, decided it would be best to transport them down to the hospital to continue their medical care. So I helped the EMTs load them up into their uh, ambulance and uh, mm. and uh, got them loaded up there and, and to safety. Right. We'll pause there. Could you answer me this, yes or no? Was one of the men that you dragged that was unconscious from the building, Mr. Chavez over here, Chavez? Uh, yes, sir. That was uh, one of the gentlemen. Correct. How you doing? And you would argue that this is around the time that uh, I'm claimed to have been in his vehicle and evading? Objection, uh, Your Honor. Relevance. Let me rephrase. My question to you, sir, is how is it that after discovering Mr. Chavez over here, Chavez, my apologies on the name, he was unconscious, you said. He needed medical treatment, um, so much so that he had to be escorted to the hospital. Objection, speculation. Correct? Objection, speculation. And um, Actually my client is not J.C. Chazé of NSYNC, sir. Fair enough. He, he corrected the Easy name. Mistake. Overruled. He corrected the name. No, no, no. I'm saying speculation mm. as well. Right. Let me rephrase. Lieutenant Ripley, you personally, without any prompting, just described Mr. How, how do you pronounce it? All right, side Nino. Chavez. Nino Chavez. Chavez. Uh, pleasure to meet you. What's your Chavez. name? Chavez. You can call me John. John, how you doing, John? You found Mr. Chavez. You described him as unconscious. Uh, Is that correct? He, well, he was on the ground. Uh, he was having trouble getting up. Um, he was talking, but he couldn't really see so good and... Right. Really woozy. He definitely needed medical attention, though. It sounds like he was definitely not in the right state of mind to be answering questions to the police at the time. So, that being said, do you recall, based on your report, who was it that took the report that the vehicle was stolen in the first place? And when did that happen? Uh, the uh, initial report uh, sort of happened in real time, you could say. Um, there was a, We had uh, Nino Chavez... Uh, in you know, in transport or getting loaded onto the ambulance. Uh, there was a vehicle registered to Nino Chavez right around. It was determined that there's no possible way he could have been driving the car, and uh, the question was asked over the radio to myself from Senior Officer Angel. Uh, you know, does anybody have permission to be driving Nino's car at this time? At that time, uh, Mr. Chavez was in the back of the ambulance. I went ahead and asked him, uh, since we were waiting there for a moment to get everyone else loaded up, does anyone have uh, permission to be driving your car? To which he replied, no. Lieutenant Ripley, nobody has permission to be driving my car right now. I said, all right. I, I relayed that information over the radio, and uh, 
Senior Officer Angel attempted to traffic stop on you. Fair enough. Going back to the original uh, hold question. Hold up. One, one second, Mr. Pliskin. One second. Sal. No problem. Sorry. If you I'm, are caught I'm, smoking I, in this courtroom I, again, I'm having you sent to prison for contempt. Knock it off. I, 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 I didn't smoke, I swear. I just watched you. Stop it. It was fake. Go ahead, Mr. Pliskin. It was a pixie stick. Based on the medical yeah. report right. filed at the scene, I'm sure you're cigarette. good at keeping your paperwork. What were the injuries described that Mr. Chavez had sustained? Objection relevance. Um, it's incredibly relevant. Sustained. Mr. Chavez's injuries have nothing to do with why you guys are in small claims court right now. They very much do. Okay, would you like to defend your question then? I'm getting there. My, how about this? Okay. Let me rephrase. Were the injuries sustained physical? Was he bleeding, bruised, battered? Uh, or objection. simply unconscious, Relevance. as you described? Your Honor, I'd like to defend this, all right? Okay. Uh, what, why, Lieutenant Ripley, so... without prompting, described Mr. Chavez's condition when he arrived on the scene as unconscious. He had to be drug out of a building and placed mm -hmm. into an ambulance. From what I can tell, he doesn't look very injured. No serious injuries, no swelling of the face. He actually looks perfectly fine. Objection narrative is, the is there is there a, is there a question to this, Your Honor? Very he's defending narrative. your object. He's defending the objection against him. Mm. How? Of his question. In the unconscious state that Lieutenant Ripley, a professional police officer, and a lieutenant of the Los Santos State Troopers, he described Mr. Chavez as unconscious when he arrived, and he got the reply about the car and the incident shortly after he arrived. I don't know about you, Your Honor, but when you go unconscious. Wow. That means that some serious injury has occurred. Correct? Possibly concussions. I would argue that Mr. Chavez was not in the right state of mind to give that statement at the time that it was given. Seen as he was just drugged from a building in an unconscious state as described by the police on scene, how, in fact, could he be in the impossible state of mind to report a car stolen, let alone know where he parked that day? Yeah. He was delusional. That's my statement. <laughs> okay, do you have a question for Mr. That that's noted. Do you have a question for Mr. Ripley? Mr. Ripley. The medics on scene. Are they here and present in this court now? Uh, not that I can see, sir. Would they be able to be called to the court? Uh, I regret to inform you, sir, that uh, the EMTs that were on duty at the time of this event are no longer in service at this time. How incredibly convenient that is. They're probably on the same vacation spot as my lawyer right now. That being said, without any extra speculation from the EMTs or the doctors of the hospital, I'd argue that a man having to be drugged from a building unconscious, that not only himself, but two other individuals were also unconscious on the scene. There's clear evidence of some kind of carbon monoxide poisoning or something of the like. Of course, if you have any knowledge of carbon monoxide poisoning, you'd realize that no one who had suffered carbon monoxide poisoning or any kind of lack of oxygen to their brain would be able to give a correct and adequate statement to a police officer, especially one that would hold up in the court of law. Your Honor. Okay, do you, do you have oh, any more question? questions for Mr. Ripley? That'll be all for now. Okay, Nora, would you like to redirect? Or cross-examine, excuse me, would you like to cross-examine? Yes, I would like to cross-examine. Hello, Lieutenant Ripley. How are you today? Very good, Nora. Thank you very much. Very good. Now, regarding the incident, uh, uh, well, in what uh, in what capacity, uh, w sorry, what led you to Nino Chavez this afternoon? Uh, I had received reports of a uh, injury uh, down the street from where my patrol was. Uh, in fact, I had just driven past it. So uh, when the 911 caller said the name of the street, it kind of perked my ears up. Uh, we returned to uh, the scene and uh, did not notice anybody on the street. The cars, it looked like they had been crashed. Uh, none of the t t telltale indications of an injured person. So uh, myself and the EMTs uh, searched the area. Uh, and started hollering for anybody, and that's when I heard Mr. Chavez's voice. He sounded surprised that uh, we were able to find him. Uh, he guided us towards him so that uh, we could recover him, but uh, he, he was complaining about injuries and pain and uh, explaining that he was having difficulty seeing. Okay. Uh, where did you find Mr. Chavez? 
Objection. Irrelevance. This has already been stated on my opening statements to Lieutenant Ripley. We've covered this. Sustained. Oh, shit! All right. Lieutenant Ripley. When you get a call... Hmm, when you get a, a call for a... Um, a stolen vehicle, does it have to be from the person itself that... Uh, claims that the vehicle is stolen uh, no ma'am it does not it can be from the owner or any civ citizen who have to see the robbery occur or uh, even the robber themselves anybody can report a car stolen objection no further questions your honor rather okay okay withdrawn I'd like to Mr. cross uh, Pliskin would you like to redirect lieutenant Ripley you stated in fact that there wasn't a reported car stolen as a matter of fact, the only report of a stolen vehicle you have is from Mr. Chavez himself, who you've already stated was in an unconscious state just moments before the statement was made. Correct? Uh, I was uh, I was on foot uh, at the time. Uh, I've received a radio from uh, Senior uh, Officer Angel regarding the car. Uh, the car. I, I don't really have any information as to what she uh, saw at the time she pulled the vehicle over, but uh, I was not aware of it personally uh, being stolen at that particular time until I asked him. Right. Regardless, the initial report that the car was stolen but justified the pulling over of the vehicle in the first place came from Mr. Chavez himself, correct? What's in the police report? Um, that, uh, that's a fantastic question. I, uh, I haven't actually read the police report. Uh, it was written by Senior Officer Angel. Uh, right. I could certainly read it. We'll ask another question. No worries. I can see you're having difficulty with this one. <laughs> so what's the standard protocol? At what point during a traffic stop, or rather an evasion, as you put it, are your officers authorized to ram a vehicle, specifically in close quarters in a downtown crowded area full of civilians? What is the protocol? Mm -hmm. I'm impressed uh, by it. Uh, I'm, I'm surprised uh, the case has actually I'm gone sorry, this far, Relevance, quite frankly. Would you like to argue the damage is sustained to the vehicle, which I'm being sued for. I'm arguing that the damages are the result of the police, not myself. That's why it's relevant. Okay. So I'm asking. Thank you. Go ahead, Lieutenant Ripley. Okay. Uh, well, sir, uh, to answer your question, uh, although we make every effort to end a situation like that uh, non-violently, without any kind of force, uh, yeah, that's if exactly it is deemed it, by the officer I'm on the scene, exactly. that the risk to the general public is great enough Snake is doing great given the, situation, the law is authorized you know I mean? to uh, use their vehicle to disable the suspect vehicle in any manner possible as long as it limits the uh, risk to the general public of course of course we've all seen cops everybody's familiar with the pit maneuver however i do believe in the city of los santos it's very unlikely that the pit maneuver is used within city limits due to the fact that it could in fact put civilians at risk mm -hmm. it's more likely it's all to be about used the fun Long stretches of road. I'm loving the it. Highway, correct? I would say uh, more likely is an accurate way of putting it. Yes, uh, it wouldn't be. Uh, the, let me put it this way: there's there's no stretch of road from uh, Polito Bay to the south side of uh, Elysian Island that uh, is 100% off limits to the pit maneuver or any kind of force used. Of course. Used. Uh, let me the likelihood of it being used on a straightaway, you're probably right. Is is probably much higher on a highway, but right. uh, it's possible it could be used anywhere. That being said, a little seal area where this incident took place, definitely not a long stretch of highway. A highly compacted grid area of the city, correct? That is correct. Uh, a lot of civilian presence on the sidewalk most days. Uh, heavy amount right. of traffic, well-traveled, a lot of shops. Yep. To your knowledge, what was the reasoning for the escalation of force required from your officers on the scene to begin not only pit maneuvering, but ramming the vehicle from multiple directions with multiple squad cars? In Objection, speculation. Area. Let me rephrase. Do you remember, if you recall, the reasoning for the escalation at the time? Uh, at the time, um, there was a uh, number of injured persons, and uh, the, one of the injured persons' vehicles reportedly not only potentially stolen, as uh, reported by the owner, but also uh, refusing to yield to police. Uh, there was some fear or suspicion that perhaps whatever ill fate had befallen the three in injured individuals was somehow linked to the uh, the stolen car, and therefore uh, 
slightly uh, more aggressive uh, means of apprehension. All this uh, for role necessary. play phased. Right. It's not about the money. Lieutenant Ripley, if you recall correctly, whenever you saw the vehicle for the first time, since unfortunately your other officers are no longer available, was there any damages to the vehicle prior to what? police intervention? I'm right, I'm right here. Where, where, uh, I was uh, not able to limit my right eyes on the, uh, the vehicle uh, prior to... Uh, the arrest, so I, I wouldn't be able to tell you what it looked like beforehand, unfortunately. Your Honor, for the sake of uh, accurate information, I'd like to pose the same question to Officer Angel back here. Just briefly. Your Honor, I object to this, considering uh, Mr. Pliskin had his chance to to question Officer Angel at length. New information's been presented, and I want clarification. It's just a simple question. Um, I'm gonna sustain that. She's already been called as a witness. You'll have to continue forward. Lieutenant Ripley, since you don't yeah. have access to the police report, yep, Joe. and you can't give accurate information based on the circumstances, to your knowledge, was the vehicle, were there any damages present in the vehicle prior to any police intervention? Yes or no? Or do you um, not know? I'm unaware. Thank you. That's all for now. Sorry, I was on the phone. Okay, Mr. Ripley, you're free to step down. Mr. Pliskin, do you have any other uh, witnesses you'd like to call forward? Not at this time. Not anyone who's present in the court, at least. Okay. With that being said, uh, Nora, would you like to give your closing statement? Absolutely. Thank you. Well, uh, sorry, sorry, sorry. One more second. Do, do either of you have any evidence you'd like to bring forward before we, uh, before we give our closing statements? Oh, yes. Yes. Uh... The plaintiff, the, pro the plaintiff would like to uh, present to the honor uh, Exhibit A, the receipt of uh, charges from uh, Mr. Walker's shop of the damages done to Mr. Chavez's car, totaling $5,470. That would be Exhibit A, mm -hmm. Your Honor. Your Honor, uh, I see 5740 uh, here. Sorry, sorry, I got the, uh, the numbers mixed up, but yes, that's correct, That the number you said. Okay. And Mr. Walker, are you still in the room? I am, yes. Is this your signature on the receipt? It sure is. Okay. Would you like to come up here and look at it and make sure, please? Your Honor, while we wait for this, mm -hmm. is it possible to call Mr. Chavez himself to the stand for examination? Oh, yeah. He's oh, yeah, sure. yeah, of course. Why not? Okay. Uh, hang, no, on, no. hang on. Mr. Chavez. Hang on. What? Mr. Chavez. What? I like talking. No. I, I didn't get to talk for like the last like two hours. Mr. Mr. Chavez! What? Maybe you should have represented what? yourself. What? No. Instead of right. to order. No. Order. 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 You? Yeah, you're good, Mr. Walker. Order in the you. court. Thank you. Mr. Chavez. Uh, yes. You're my witness, and I'm your lawyer. Okay. I advise that we don't do this, okay? We're almost done. All right. Okay. All right. Let it be known to the court that Mr. Chavez refuses to testify. Feisty. The great lawyer you've got there. Thank you. Hmm. That, that he does, Mr. Pliskin. She's a great lawyer. We'll Fantastic see. body. Okay. All right, give me one second. Mr. Pliskin, um, I did ask if you wanted any more um, witnesses, and you did say no, and we were moving forward, so I am going to deny him being a witness at this time, just no so you problem. know. problem. Um, just want a clarification. That's understandable, but at this time, it is a little late for that. Um, Not Miss, an issue. Uh, Dupre, do you have any other evidence? Not at this time, Your Honor. Okay, Mr. Pliskin, do you have any evidence you'd like to bring forward? The only evidence I'd like to bring to the court is the evidence you already have on behalf of my uh, opponent over here. The Mr. damages Pistone, to the car, please. the pictures, etc. Uh, I'm, so, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. All right. Miss, uh, Miss Dupre, go ahead and give your closing. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the court, the gallery, thank you for coming here today for, for, for a case. As you can see, Mr. Pliskin came in with falsehoods and stories of ramming or whatnot. But let's be clear here. This situation could have all been avoided had Mr. Pliskin not chosen to go into a vehicle, Mr. Chavez's vehicle, a vehicle that he does not own, while Mr. Mr. Chavez was injured, by the way, to steal it on some, <clears throat> some doohickey. <clears throat> Mr. Parks. Huh? Uh, what? <laughs> Miss uh, Officer Angel, will you please escort these uh. two out of my courtroom? Absolutely. Mr. Fox and Mr. Rosenberg, if you please, at the door. 
Come with me. And what happened? What happened? Turn around. Let's walk out the door. Come on. Let's go. Oh, where are we going? Him up. It's time. You're being you're being asked to leave. Out the door. Let's go. I didn't do anything. Oh, wait, you leave. Mr. Rosenberg, you too. Out the door. I'm you're doing my civil duty, leave. lady. You don't you ask me to do leave. It's extended you know, for roleplay, you know what I mean? Mr. Rosenberg, let's just leave now. Fuck. I'm in Los Angeles anyway, Can okay? you please leave? It's been an amazing cross-cross. I cool. love it. Fucking all right, great. Cool. It's been great. All right, all right. Out, out the door. This is how I think court cases generally should be. Okay, as I was saying. Fun. At the end of the day, you know what I mean? Mr. Pliskin shows of his own volition. Mr. Pliskin, right there, shows to steal... Mr. Chavez's vehicle while Objection. Mr. Chavez speculation there's no uh, evidence there are, for ones like this yeah 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 the not you, so serious you ones you can only object if she's using facts that weren't presented during the case I can that wasn't you. presented during the case at no point it was actually case. It, was, it was brought up several times fair enough all right go ahead Mr. Gray as I was saying Mr. Pliskin of his own volition, stole Mr. Chavez's car to while talk. Mr. Chavez was injured and getting care. I, Mr. I, I Pliskin really could have idea. missed Mr. Chavez. Yes. Sorry, oh. man. Anyway. Interesting. Mr. Mr. Pliskin decided to do that of his own volition. He could say all he wants is, oh, uh, a cop ran this, a cop ran that. But at the end of the day, Mr. <laughs> Pliskin decided to do this. Mr. Pliskin is the reason you are all here. He could have done what any normal citizen would do, was just walk on by. But he didn't. And said he stole that car, Joy Road, and according to the testimony of Officer Angel, went to a small pursuit and he crashed his, crashed not his car, Mr. Chavez's car, not his own property. Again, Mr. Pliskin can come in with these falsehoods, but we all know, we all know that's not what happened here. Your Honor, I beseech the court to give the full amount of the five thousand, I believe, seven hundred and forty dollars. We don't need menaces to society on ridiculous missions. No one knows about this supposed bomb or whatever. And if this bomb was happening, he would not be here. At the end of the day, Mr. Chavez was wronged, and society was wronged by such a crime. Thank you, Your Honor. Okay, uh, Mr. Pluskin, would you like to make a closing? That was good. Yes, I would. Uh, one second, one second. Mr. Chang, what are you doing? What? What are you doing? <laughs> um, jump, jump, Mr. Chavez. Uh, what's that? Let, let's let's keep your phone in let's your pocket, put that please. Away, okay? Jump. Thank you, Mr. Chang. All right, Mr. Pluskin, okay. go ahead. Whatever. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen of the court. I'm not going to bore you with speculation or opinion like my opponent has. I'm simply going to state a few facts. Factually, earlier today, you've heard from both police officers as well as Mr. Chavez himself that he was injured at the time of the supposed incident. As stated by the evidence of Lieutenant Ripley himself, the man was unconscious upon arrival. Yeah. There were three men being drugged from the building which states clearly there wasn't any kind of physical injury. The injury sustained was a mental injury, whether done so through a concussion or carbon monoxide poisoning or what have you. The seriousness of the injuries warranted response from multiple EMS and multiple police officers as three men had to be drugged from a building. Their bodies lay lifeless, no motion whatsoever. At that point in time, nobody would be in the right mind in the right state of mind to give a statement of who they did and did not get permission to drive their vehicle. At that point, the vehicle was seen leaving the scene and without any kind of report of a stolen vehicle from Mr. Chavez himself or anyone else at that point in time, it was taken upon herself, Officer Angel here, to it's go a ahead and pursue that argument, vehicle, regardless to be honest. of lack of report. I think he did a pretty fucking thereafter. good job. I think, I think it's a toss up. We were in city I think limits, it's a near a heavily crowded civilian area where there were injured persons nearby. <laughs> Officer Angel herself and yeah. fellow officers made the cognitive Ooh. decision to uh, begin ramming the vehicle from multiple directions, which resulted in the damages in the first place. My argument to the court is that I did have permission to drive that car. Me and Mr. Chavez spoke just briefly before 
The police had to arrive on scene, what? dragging his lifeless, Objection. unconscious body. Objection, Your Honor. You can't this object to closing statement. This was not brought into the court proceedings about the statement. These the are speaking. facts. So, Mr. Chef Chavez. I'm arguing This was not now. brought up. <laughs> Mr. Chavez was not in the state of mind to know where his car confused. was parked, let alone if it was stolen. He had suffered some kind of a mental damage or mental injury and had to be drug off into the back of an ambulance. Oh, well, which excuse point, me, did, uh, Mr. did the judge yeah. rule? Yeah, that's overruled. Nora, he did mention all this during the case. That yes. he spoke to Mr. Chavez. That he has a mental, that he had an injury and that they he did discussed not, that. Well, he did not say that he spoke to Mr. Is, Chavez. Nobody in this court, the judge or anyone else, can factually say that Mr. Chavez did not give me permission to drive his vehicle. And okay. it, it, took, it took Officer Angel. She took it upon herself to decide that the car was in fact stolen and chose to escalate to the force of ramming the vehicle multiple times in a heavily crowded area that is non-traditional and not up to police code, as stated by Lieutenant Ripley himself, in a closed grid gridlocked area of the city, which resulted in the damages that I'm currently being sued for. I'd argue that I did have permission to move the vehicle. I'd argue that no one can say otherwise. I'd argue okay. that every single damage sustained to the vehicle was a result of the police and their misconduct. And I'd argue that Mr. Chavez himself was not in the mental state to claim that his vehicle had been stolen. That's all. That, that was pretty good. That perjury. That was pretty good. Thank you. Pretty good. That's pretty good. Mm -hmm. Pretty good. Okay. It's pretty good. Thanks. <laughs> pretty good. I've arrived. <laughs> yes, thank you, Mr. Payne. At this point in time, this court is going to be held on a rec about p be put into recess. Excuse me. I will uh, decide on a verdict, and then we will decide what to do from here on. Your Honor, may I approach the stand briefly during the recess? Uh, yeah, go ahead. Hey, Lieutenant. Yeah, what's up, Angel? Hey, how you doing, Tony? He just pitched himself. Your Honor. Hey, what's name? Mm -hmm. I feel I've uh, presented a strong case. Just chilling, just chilling. My apologies for not being familiar with the standard procedures. That's okay. Miss Dupre, she stated that so, uh, she would like to press Nora, for the full um, amount. So uh, what like happens? To counter. Do I gotta pay you if you lose? Or uh, uh, how does that work? I'd you like you want to sue her? I'd like to counter and sue for pain and suffering if, and time wasted in this court. Unnecessarily if, so. If I lose, okay. you owe me you'll nothing. Have to, okay. You'll have to... I'll uh, take care of it a different way. You'll have to find a lawyer no, you don't and we'll have to, have to talk to them about that. No, 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 not I will. Problem. For us. Thank you. Okay. No, no, no. That's how I work, Mr. Chavez. If I if I don't win this, and I think I did my best in this court, you don't owe me a penny. Do you understand? You did really good. You did really good. You should have gotten uh, a good lawyer. Thank you. Instead of a free uh, one. You know, this... Uh, cheap lawyer, cheap case. Lesson learned, Mr. Chavez. Hey, hey, you Mr. know, Plus that, wow. that very inappropriate, completely... Let me ask you something, Mr. Chavez. Yeah, how you doing? Would you pay nothing for a whore? What? Um, I don't really pay Would for Would you sex? trust a whore, a prostitute, that charged oh, zero dollars hey. for her service? You know? Because that's what you're getting with you know, Mr. Prey. That, that, that. Wow. No, no, Mr. That's Chavez. Factual. Mr. Chavez, right, that's I got That's beyond that. unacceptable. That. Mr. Pliskin, I get you are obliterated in court, but that does not mean you get to disrespect me oh, in the court of shit. law. Oh, shit. Oh, you shit. disrespected yourself when you charged nothing for your service. That's that's I have nothing more to say. That there's a lot of Punch fire. Him in I the better, face. I'm gonna I'm gonna take a step Get this back bar. from this if, volcano. If you, if you know if you know anything about being fair and civil, that's the type of lawyer I am. Oh, I don't lie. I'd like to I don't stop cheat. Being and I don't oh, steal like lawyer. you, Mr. Pliskin. Oh shit! And because I respect the court, I'm gonna walk out of here. Oh. Be oh. better. Be a better person, Mr. Oh. Pliskin. Oh shit. Oh, sh oh, shit. Call him oh. a bitch. It looks like you've lost your defense, Mr. Chavez. Um, I mean, to be honest, his money means hey, absolutely hey, hey. nothing to me. I was uh, planning I'm... to give it back to you afterwards after uh, she destroyed you. We, we can just, in, well, I'm going to win the case. Maybe we can settle. Oh, yeah, you're not going to win the case. I was court. just joking. We can just, no, I mean, I'm going to win the case. I mean, we can just settle for $50. $50? 50, 50 why, why would That's I settle? Fair. This is for principle. This is a, this this whole case is for well, principle. It's about principle. That's it. Once once I win this case, now I've got grounds to counter both you and your attorney. I mean, you can Pain sue me as much as you like. Time wasted. 
Right. We could just settle for fifty dollars and call this call this. No, done. no, no. Go ahead. You can uh, you can do whatever. I mean, I got plenty of cash. If you need cash, sue me. Fair enough. All right. Fantastic. Your cash won't mean anything once the nuclear warhead detonates in the center of the city. Oh shit! Wait, what? Hmm. Oh shit, yo, Janelle, turn around. You drank your quarter right here. <laughs> you need to check this out. You I need bet. to check it out. Yeah, yo, yo, Janelle, you drank your quarter right there. Oh shit. Janelle, drank your quarter right there. Huh? Yeah, you drank it. Oh, oh shit. Got Don't it. take it. Oh, come I got on. It. I got it. Okay. Boys to okay. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Delete that, chain. Can you tell me you haven't hit that shit yet? The shit. The shit just no. walked out of the judge chambers. The. Oh. Yes, she did. Oh, oh, yes, she did. Oh, you guys are okay. Sick. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, all right. Oh, sick all that. Yeah. You are. Oh, Who's that right. judge's name? Oh, oh, no. I'm Hey, can you guys shut up? Hey, what's up, Miss West? <laughs> I just, I just yeah. find it a little weird that the assistant district attorney gets to go mingle with the judge uh -huh. before a decision. I wasn't. I, I wasn't think it's really there. weird that legal staff gets to mingle with legal staff. That's just I think really it's strange, weird that isn't you it? That's in such in a the bizarre thing. When I was trying to take a shit, and you saw my ass Cause you, wide, wide cause open. Because you, because you, because you asked me to. Because you asked me to, Mr. Chen. You saw my ass behind. Because you're the one spreading it in his office. I'm not the one spreading their asshole like a whore. That's you, buddy. The only woman here is standing across from the other bench, and she doesn't charge anything for her service. Jesus Christ! Whoa! Holy shit! Noah does have a fat ass for sure. No, 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 no. I think she's very nice. Holy shit! Ah, what the fuck? Sorry, Vinny. Sorry, Vinny. Vinny, no, I'm sorry. Oh my god! Hit him again. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't hit my Tony. Don't hit my Tony. Is this where one of what the fuck? Oh, gentlemen. Yeah, fuck it. This is inappropriate. I'll defend you. You're all not. Every single one of you out. Leave. Leave. Out the door. Let's go. Every single one of you going. Get out, Matthew. Go. Get out, Matthew. Vinny. Taser. Tony. Taser. Angel. Taser. Leave. Leave. Get out. I didn't do anything. Matthew, get the fuck out, Matthew. Why are you guys? Get out, Mr. Stone. It was Mr. Coleon. Leave. So about that I didn't even do nothing. Leave. Didn't even do. Didn't even do anything. Leave. What do we do? Leave. Terrible behavior, Vinny. That $50 Leave. is still on the table. It really tiny. No, no, I'm good. I'm good. I, I, I'm just kidding. You know, I, you did I, a pretty good job. Young. I gotta no, say. I'm not the one who's punching people well. in the I'm car. I'm you have, uh, like, a plus 100 speech or something going on with this, uh, little, uh, thing you well, got going. Jesus. You like, uh, down expert. in Chinatown doing whippets with your friends. You would have been conscious oh. enough to secure your own vehicle. Keep well, that in mind. Why the fuck would I do whippets? What, what am I, like, in elementary school or something? Yeah, this is the worst court case I've ever been to in my entire life. Why is it taking so long? I'm telling you, he's taking a shit back there. How do we know he's not on the train again? Con court back into session. I do believe Ooh. I have a verdict. Mr. Corleone, are you okay back there? Kind of. I have I have restless am syndrome, so I'm just trying to hold my ams. Don't mind me. It's a medical condition. Okay. <laughs> Thank With you. all of the evidence and witnesses' testimonies given today, I do believe that uh, ver several points were made by both sides. Very valid point. And with that being said, I'm going to be finding. Excuse me. I'm going to be finding Mr. Chavez uh, in favor of this case. He will be receiving the seven. Uh, sorry, five thousand seven hundred and forty dollars from Woo! Mr. Pliskin. Um. With uh, the witnesses stating that he was in the vehicle, and. As well as uh, him being the person who stole Mr. Chavez's vehicle and being charged with said crime, as it was stated during this. Mr. Dad, please stop that. What? Sorry. <laughs> and what with, he doing? Um, like I said, with all the evidence and testimonies given today and everybody placing him at the scene and in the vehicle, um, Mr. Pliskin here, having stolen the vehicle, is... Oh, the reliable, jerk or excuse me, uh, is responsible for all the damages done to said vehicle. Um, Officer Angel is, is it just you here? Is Trooper Ripley still here? Uh, yes, yes, Your Honor, it's just me. Okay. Um, could, we will be needing Mr. Pliskin to stay. Please make sure he doesn't leave. Uh, at this time, this court is, okay. this case is closed. Everybody is free to leave except for Mr. Chavez and Mr. Pliskin. 
Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you, Your Honor. Woo! Thank you, Your Honor, for uh, the man for, for what um, for uh, you know for everything. Do we do we come up so, here? I, well, what happens next? Yeah. So at this time, he is going to be billed the five thousand seven hundred and forty. Okay. And you will get that money. Okay. Fantastic. You can quit harassing me now. Um, Officer Angel, Mr. Pliskin, could you please come up here? Yes, Your Honor. I'm glad my internet didn't shut off, because I need to replace my router. All right, Mr. Pliskin. Um, at this time, uh, you will be billed the amount of five hundred and seven, five thousand seven hundred and forty dollars. Okay. Unreal, the amount of Good luck. Good luck. My bank account's mean? negative eight thousand dollars. Good luck with that. Uh, you will now be uh, your bank account will now be negative uh, thirteen thousand seven hundred and forty dollars. Right. My bank account anyway. Uh, it's no problem. What's that? Okay. Never was. Um, wh what's your PayPal? I don't know. I oh shit! I don't know either. That settles it. Wait, what happened uh, next time? No, he doesn't have a PayPal number. I'm not in your system. I never was. He really is snake. Oh, <laughs> my God. Can I take a look at your ID, Mr. Fuskin? I'm not required <laughs> to identify myself. <laughs> no, but it will have you back. Mr. Fuskin, could you jump, please? That no, with all due respect. Oh, it's the first one! You will be on your ID, so if you just show that. You can cover up the rest of your ID. I just need that number. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay, thank you. Dude, that's so good. All right, did you get that? This bill, has sir? been so much fun, man. This I whole like thing. I wish you I could go up on the stand. I should have just forced good myself job. up. Sir, did you get that bill? I don't have a bank account, but yeah, the account that you've been given was billed. If that's your okay. asking. Okay, that's good. All right, uh, Mr. Chavez, what is your ID? Ah, uh, it's, uh, yeah, it's, uh, 33. I'm sorry, say it again, 33? 33, 33, yeah. All right, there you go. Ron, I've got a question. Go ahead, Mr. Uh, Pliskin. In the future, I find myself being sued in civil court. How am I supposed to defend myself against the criminal's case being defended when I haven't had a chance to yet? I'm sorry, say it again? I firmly believe that a lot of the evidence that swayed the opinion of the court was based on the criminal case, not the civil case at hand. The criminal case itself hasn't had a chance to be defended. Sir, if you want to um, appeal, or uh, sorry, not appeal, I think you, you might have fucked so up. You're more than free to. Shit, that's that's fucked. I'd sue the government, quite frankly. Uh, it's not worth my time. Mr. Chavez, are you are you okay? Why? What's up? You, you're saying a lot of stuff that you like, kind of. You know, might have been the brain damage he suffered on. earlier. What do you the mean? Same yeah. brain damage he suffered whenever he was asked under duress by the police, in an unconscious state of mind, if his car was in fact stolen, which he couldn't have known about. He was in the back no, of the ambulance. Yeah, he I never was asked if anyone had permission to drive the vehicle besides him. That's all he was asked. Right. right. Okay. Okay. I wasn't okay, actually okay. injured. The case is closed. Uh, the Mr. case is closed. Snake. This is over. We're yes. over. I'd this like to done. object. I'd... Object I'll to object. what? It's over. None of this right. matters. Mr. Pliskin, you are free to anyway. counter sue at any point. Oh, okay, <laughs> wow. Okay. Uh, if you want to go find that nuke, you're more than free to. You're also more than free to counter sue in the future. Mm. If you so please, mm. you need to talk to a lawyer. I'd rather not. Okay. Especially given the quality uh, of lawyers in the city. Hmm. Oh. Um, well, I very much... I am actually very impressed with uh, mm. how you uh, held your, handled yourself today, Mr. Pliskin. That was well, very impressive. It's unfortunate uh, there's not a single lawyer available uh, 20 million people in the city what you, you actually did extremely well for somebody who's not bar certified so have right. you thought about becoming a lawyer because that's not a bad idea yeah seriously. i'd rather not oh, why okay. not it's a shitty job well yeah lying but for people who don't deserve it well taking yeah, but... money from those who don't deserve to be taken from well i'd rather spend my know... time doing a good service for the city ah right which is saving your sorry ass. You're welcome. Um, Lawyers do do well for the city, Mr. Pliskin. That biased opinion, objective. Right. 
Anyways, Ejection. I got to get out of here. Pleasure to meet you. Uh, yep. right. Give me a call. Yep, yep. Uh, maybe I can get you a job or something. You need work? Thank you, Miss yeah. Angel. I appreciate that. Don't need worry work? about it. Yeah, well, you sure? I'm too busy for a job. You sure? Why don't you call the poor gentleman who just got $5,000 withdrawn from their account? Because it wasn't mine. Right it. Well, hey, I'll up? see you around. All right. Take care. Come on over here. I want to talk with you. All right. Where did uh, the Judge Bison go? Nora. He just went out of the court. Thank you very much. Yes. You're welcome, Mr.